Welcome back to my channel. First, I think I should start with a bit of a disclaimer. I am exhausted. <laughs> um, we took my daughter to go see, uh, well, they had a festival at my job for children. So we took her in hopes to wear her out and we took her all over and she got on all these rides and walked all over and suffice to say, her father and I are the ones who were worn out, not her. So there's that um anyways i digress so you may find some pauses breaks muttering stutterings things like that in this video um anyways moving forward this is my new um Alter to represent the Divine Feminine. For some time now, I've wanted to create an altar like this. An altar to, res to represent uh, the energies of the Divine Feminine. Um, it's not that I do not honor a God figure or anything like that anymore. I do. I still have my main altar, which um, I will be redoing in the near future. Um, because I think it's... A little too cluttered and things like that so um, I'm gonna be redoing that but I've felt a need for a while now to have an altar that just represents the divine feminine so this is the altar um, I didn't want a central goddess figure on the altar I wanted some things that I had that represent the goddess in different forms things that for me had goddess energies so that's what I put here on this altar so uh, let's go back here to this statue here this is a statue of white Tara and it's really not going to focus too well because yeah I don't I need really need to get a camera is what it boils down to I'm I've been using my cell phone for all of these videos but anyways Neither here nor there, right? Um, I put a representation of the White Tara up there. That's actually a statue my mother bought for me um, this past Christmas. And I also have this statue on the left side, which is not a goddess. But for me, she is a representation of feminine energies. Um, so that's why I have her there. Um, I also have another representation of the goddess, the goddess Lakshmi. This is an um, amulet that I used to wear, and it will not focus, so let's not even try to hope it will, because it won't. Um, but Lakshmi is a goddess of abundance in the Hindu religion. Um, she works in conjunction with the god Ganesh. Um, but they're not consorts. Her consort actually is um, Vishnu. And they are basically eternal lovers. Um, anytime he incarnates, she incarnates with him. Um, so depending upon the form he takes, so as Vishnu, she would incarnate as Lakshmi. As Krishna, she would incarnate as Radha. And there are many, many, many other incarnations of the couple. Um, anyone who might have seen a video I made months and months and months and months ago, it was last year, um, where we were doing a vid videos to work on, uh, do rituals or whatever to promote and enhance peace and togetherness and things like that in the YouTube community, but also in general, not just the YouTube community, um, if anyone has seen that video, you might recognize this candle in the back. That candle, um, I actually did not rededicate that candle really. Um, I did do a blessing over it again, but I really did not rededicate it because this candle, while to me, and even then when I did that ritual, was a representation of the goddess to me in that all of the things that I connected with that candle were aspects of the goddess um, 
not all of her aspects, but many. Um, this candle for me was representative of love, peace, harmony, compassion, uh, hope, faith, trust, um, and many, many other things. And so that's why this candle is here. Because for me, it always possessed goddess energies, and it still does. And so I wanted that to be center, um, for the most part, in the altar. Let me just move this over a bit. But I wanted that to basically be center. The other candle is actually a working that I'm doing, so that's irrelevant. Um, this is a celestite cluster, and this... Um, for me is well it's a it connects to the celestial realm um, but for me it also holds goddess energies um, anytime I connect with this that's who I feel in it I feel connected to the goddess through this stone so for me this is another representation of the goddess so I that's why this is up here as well. Now here I have a tarot deck and an oracle deck which I keep up here. And these two decks, these may not be the only two decks I have that I feel are promoting goddess energies or I feel goddess energies from or you know the divine feminine through, but these two are top for me. So and I keep um a chunk of uh, rose quartz on top of the deck but this one this is actually and let's never mind my mess over here to some of my other workings not workings but uh, you know where I keep some of my a lot I have like that whole bottom drawer is just nothing but candles yeah so anyways <laughs> it's that's a busy thing right there um, but this deck is, because I can't remember the exact name, the Universal Goddess Tarot. And I'll show you what some of the cards look like. Um, and I actually do a daily draw or an almost daily draw. It's not really a daily draw because not every day do I draw from this, but I try it every day. Um, but here's what the back of the deck looks like. And here's one of the cards. This is the Knight of Chalice. Oops. Knight of Chalices. But some of the cards are actually um, representations of different goddesses. So, like here. This one is the Knave of Swords. But as you can see, that is a representation of um, the goddess Artemis. Uh, there's other goddess representations. There's uh, some that represent Isis. Uh, there was one I drew earlier in the week who was Oya. Actually, this is it. This is a representation of the goddess Oya. Um, and it's different ones from around the world, too. So... Uh, and those that might not be goddesses, they're definitely feminine energies. So, there's one, and here's the last one to look at. So, uh, I really um, just started working with this deck, but I really am liking it an, a lot. So... This next one is an oracle deck, and this deck is called Wisdom of the Golden Path. And I really, really, really... This is another deck that I've not been working too long with, but I really am liking this deck as well. So here is what the back of the cards look like. Is it? And then here's one. Yes, there's a little bit of nudity in some of them, so yeah, let's just bear that in mind. 
Um, there's another one that says, I am balance. Goddess of oneness. Let me see. Uh, let's do a couple more. This one is called the Flame of Inspiration. And not all these cards are goddess cards, but I just feel feminine energies from them. This one actually is um, called Nature. And there's even some that have men on them. So you have like this one, which is called Power. And here's another one with a man. The majority of the cards are female, but there are men. Um, this one is called Soulmate. So, that's that. Um, yeah, so this is basically my altar that I use. And I, I pray before this altar pretty much every day. Um, and I just sit in contemplation, really, is what I do. Um, anything that I feel I want to call on the goddess for, I'll do those workings on this altar too. Um, for me, the goddess is all encompassing. So she's not just about love and peace and serenity and things like that. But she is one who I look to as a protectress, a guardian, um, a warrior, uh, I look to her in her guise as a lover, um, as a healer. So there's many different aspects in which I honor the goddess as. Um, on a different note, I am also doing... Um, I did it last year too, but I'm focusing a lot more on it this year. Or at least I'm going to try to. Last year really got away with me. But, uh, and I forget her name. Is it Leone Dawson? Maybe? But she has, um, classes that you can take. Um, if you pay for the year, which I think is just over $100, you get access to all of her classes, all of her downloads meditation kits things like that one of the things that I downloaded and I had down on black and white because my printer at home is not working um, really well so we actually have to get a new one but one of the things we downloaded what I downloaded was um, radiant goddess divine day planner and so you would each day you would do something and you would put in the movement uh, meditation nutrition grounding your MIT, which is most important task, and your affirmation for the day. So, um, I really like her stuff. I've taken a few of her online classes already. I'm thinking of maybe doing a review of some of them. I think one year I did um, a review of her planner that she had. Um, but I am thinking of doing a review of some of the classes without giving information like the materials she covers per se. But I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when it happens. <laughs> so, but anyways, I think this video has gone long enough. So, um, I just wanted again to show you my altar of uh, representing the feminine energies or the divine feminine or the goddess. Um, however you wish to term it. And I want to thank you for watching and blessed be.